Hello, uh, here we are going to present a video regarding the siting of the weather station and its installation. So this is called as the mounting pole which we are going to mount the sensors and the control unit. So these are the nuts and this is the cross arm and these are the tripod holder right so there are tri rods connected to the main pole which is extruding towards the sky so this is anemometer firstly you have to put up this on the pole once the pro pole has been mounted and grouted you have to take it in such way you have to place it over this and this is a u clamp and you have to put up here and you have to bolt it So remember when you installing this uh, particular anemometer, this rod must be facing your north and the utmost part is called as the dimple which is made of brass, it should be facing towards the north and you can use a compass to make sure it is facing north. This is tipping bucket through which we will measure the rain and the rain will be collected through this aircon. This is specially made along with this bird spikes to avoid the birds to sit over this and make the place dirt. And here comes our temperature, humidity, barometric pressure and PM sensor with the solar radiation because the sensors must not be exposed directly to the sun. So make sure you are not exposing the sensor or removing in such way and uh, exposing that to the sunlight. Let me tell you how the solar radiation shield must be mounted at the bottom of the rain collector you have to remove this you have to adjust the holes so make sure you you are like two people so that the work gets easier that's important to check out the holes so there are three holes through which you will be screwing the solar radiation at the bottom of the rain collector So once you mounted it on the pole, you have to check with the level, so you have to adjust according once the water bubble comes in the center of the circumference which is provided and tighten using the U-clamp. So there are four teeth which will be getting accommodated in this particular aircon base and you have to cuff hold and mount it over the top. So once you place it, you have to rotate it towards your clockwise. So slide it over the top. at the permissible height so that the solar panel and the control unit won't get disturbed because of the you know aircon it's more important ki you have to maintain 3 cm gap between the sensors so place the aircon sensor exactly opposite to the wind speed or wind direction sensor so this is the main control unit which is battery operated now i will show you how to mount it on the pole and make sure it come beneath the sensors you have to place it such way and you will be having u clamps which you have to place it towards the plate mounting plate and there are two u clamps you have to use so that uh, it ensures on slipping Slide and adjust the control unit so that the sensor suit gets accommodated below the control unit. Use two washers so that uh, there won't any slipping happening in future. And finally comes our sensor suit which comprised of socks, knocks, 
PM and CO, CO2 sensors. So I will tell you how to place it over it. So it comes beneath, just beneath the control unit. You have to place it accordingly, adjust the height and you have to do the same what you did with the control unit. There are two U-clamp provisions which is provided. Make sure of using washers so that there won't be any slipping happening in future and bolt it. So this is 50 watt solar panel which gives a 12 volt output which will run the entire system and make sure it faces the south and where the intensity of light falls more yes and uh, make sure it should be in an inclination of 45 degree from the sky so once the components of the entire weather station has put up on the pole this is how it looks and you can just take a look how it has put up so that uh, it will be comfortable for you to put up the particular parts and components according to the description now i'll tell you how to make the connections so here are the ports rainfall barometric pressure temperature humidity wind speed wind direction and particulate matter first goes the rainfall sensor so you check whether you put up the rain properly so you have to put this cable through this gland and you have to put it in the port accordingly So this is how you have to do the procedure of putting the cable through the gland and you have to fix it according to the respective ports and we have mentioned the sensor cables accordingly. Usually the battery comes separately so that it doesn't uh, corrupt the circuit. Okay, you have to use the proper coding, color coding, insert it on the battery. This is the positive pole and red always uh, indicates positive and the black goes in the negative you have to place it and that's all it is this is rs485 cable which connects the sensor suit to the control unit and i will show how to connect it insert it and screw it so the other end goes to the main control unit for a better understanding we have provided quick reference guide you can go through and i'm going to switch on the system and that's the logo it's initializing okay now we will get all the readings if there is any readings missing so you have to double check with the cables connected to the ports you can see all the readings on the screen kindly take a look over so now comes our sensor unit so we have uh, especially using a pump and a rotometer to regulate the air flow you have to make the double check before you're going to make the sampling so the sampling happens every one hour interval so now i'll tell you how to double check the rotometer and set and regulate the flow you have to click next button for five plus second So the pump has started now, now you can regulate the air flow using this rotameter. So make sure you always regulate it 0.9 to 1 LPM. So once you set up the regulator, so you have to do the system setup and I will show you how to do it. So go to menu option. So there are three options for the system setup, data backup and product information. Now I'll further take you to system setup and there are three options further set clock network lock time make sure you always do check with the clock to save the data file management so I'll go further and I will set the clock accordingly so once I set all the parameters put up in the clock press enter and the clock has been reset before setting up the log, I mean, uh, data log option, you have to go to the system setup and check.
check with the lock time the frequency of lock time as per your requirement so we have provided three options 60 minute interval 30 minute interval 5 minute interval and make sure this the pump uh, take the sampling on one hour interval okay say for example i have selected now five minutes and the lock time has been selected now the next option is data backup so it's almost important to check with the data backup and set the frequency of the logging intervals so i'll show you what to do with that so there are three options further in the backup current month full backup select date okay so you have to check with that you have to select accordingly now if you want to transfer the data using telemetry you have to go to the main setup option and go to the network and select the respective re requirement uh, required uh, APN and press enter and the APN has been selected now the system has been set up and it is there for the regular use so there's an enter button you have to press 5 plus second and you have to insert the USB before you click it and the data will be transferred to the USB logger okay and then comes the final option which is exit button if you long press it for 5 plus second it will restart the instrument and then there comes product information so it will showcase all the product details so that's a model and the company name and the support if you unable to understand the parameters and the icons put up in the screen you have to take a quick reference ch check in the quick reference guide for better understanding so the sampling happens for one month regularly say so what you have to do is you have to make sure of replacing the thimble which we've provided extra 25 pieces and i will show you how to replace the thimble so now i'm removing the topmost plate of the solar, solar radiation shield and we have provided the thimble put up in the shaft thimble and a brass fitting so this is a thimble so once it get you know dip polluted you because of the dust we just have to replace with the new thimble and insert it respectively and you have to again mount the topmost plate again so that the water won't make the thimble wet so uh, this is two pin connector which comes from the solar panel and it will connect to the main control unit and it charges the battery mm -hmm.